Let's dive into the fundamentals uh, behind the technicals. We've got just the person that helps with that. Joe Cavatoni is with us, Chief Market Strategist for the North America's World Gold Council. Joe, welcome. Good to have you with us. Uh, if we could pick up right where we left off and how within the uh, WGC's latest report, ballots to bullion, you examine the election's effect on gold performance. Talk to us a little bit about your findings. Sure. Yeah, thanks for having me back. It's great to be here. And I have to start off by simply saying I admire what our analysts can get done considering all the changes that are taking place <laughs> yeah. literally by no the kidding. moment in terms of the yeah. election outline. But, but let me kind of synthesize that there's a lot of talk around um, politics, geopolitics, all of that weighing in on gold. The report's really excellent at highlighting the fact that there's a lot of noise that can develop. But fundamentally, it'll go back to the strategic drivers of gold. So the election, the candidate, the win may have an impact on gold, but fundamentally their policies are the bigger factor that weigh in on gold. On the shorter term, this is gonna be very interesting to watch for us because as you can see over the last several weeks, emotions really taking place and, and really waking, working its way into the, into, the, um, into the election outcome. So that emotion married with what the impact of a rate cut, the real strategic driver for the gold price, how those two and that marriage is going to come together over the next six months, that's going to be the really interesting place to watch. That could likely lead to a higher level of volatility in the gold price, maybe more of those movements on the charts that you're talking to, hitting highs, dropping quick, and the emotion taking into place a little bit more that tactical implication on gold. Joe, I'm looking at your notes. You talk about how historically U.S. elections are not seen as geopolitical risk, right? But the world and U.S. electorate remain highly polarized, you say. This is uh, in turn highlights the need for robust hedges in investors' portfolios, and uh, ultimately gold will play that role. That's right. Now, risk assets are going to be in motion. Gold will be a component to not only complement but hedge those risk assets. So again, expect to see the movement in gold, the price movement to be more volatile as people are balancing, rebalancing portfolios. Again, married with this whole strategic driver of the likely Fed cut that we're going to see mm -hmm. coming in September. So these are all the big factors that are weighing on the Western sentiment. And let's not overlook the fact that this, while a U.S. election, weighing on the minds of global investors, the mm -hmm. East, the big driver that's been pushing gold keeping that floor in place. So it's a really dynamic moment. So I think to kind of really encapsulate what the report's trying to say is, don't get too worried about who the candidates are and how they're going to impact the short-term price. Pay attention to what the emotion could mean to the volatility of the price, but fundamentally pay attention to their policies mm -hmm. as they develop from a strategic driver of gold longer term. Joe, a message we try and communicate on a fairly regular basis here, uh, that's for sure, trying to step back, right? Don't get too caught up in those ups and downs associated with the intraday, but it's not just geopolitical tensions and some of the election uncertainties that are driving prices here. I'm also looking at your notes, how you talk about how, well, ultimately, uh, you've got situation playing out with uh, uh, direction of the U.S. dollar, interest rates. You're talking about uh, processions of risk. And these, again, are also going to uh, be factors influenced. Uh, economic factors are going to influence gold price as well. That's really it. I mean, again, we, we focus strategically at understanding the big drives for the big flows of gold. You know, um, the rate cut, the strength of the dollar, the policies that are going to lead to the tensions that may develop or re be released in terms of how the politics will play out into the geopolitical landscape for a relationship, as an example, with China. How's that all going to look? So fundamentally, a Western investor is still going to be concerned around where rates are, where the opportunity cost might be on the short term, that rate cuts critical, the strength of dollar will start to play a much larger role. It may weigh more on the price direction of gold, but fundamentally, again, this election will be emotional. It'll increase the levels of volatility that we'll see in the gold price over the next six months. And fundamentally, it'll get back to that strategic driver of gold. Well, rates, think, dollar strength, and Western investor flows. Yeah, ultimately, I think this all really speaks to, again, what we talk about, how the uh, current existing technical trends are supported by some of these fundamental trends, right? And we didn't really get into 
uh, one of the major driving forces, I feel like, over the last couple of years, which has been central bank buying, and that still remains also. So all of this very supportive of prices here, that's for sure, Joe. We're going to continue to watch the charts, uh, the fundamentals, and how they add up together ultimately in terms of opportunities. Joe Cavatoni joining us this morning. Thanks for your time, Joe. Joe's the chief market strategist for North America's World Gold Council.